Well, over two weeks away from Election Day, absentee and early voting at county clerk's offices now underway. As Stephanie Muniz shows us, an off-year election may lack the buzz, but may have some of the biggest impacts on you. Well, in Washington, D.C., there's a focus on a Speaker of the House. Here at home, election officials are getting ready for another election. We will have 72 polling locations around Albuquerque. If you're stopped at a red light, there's a polling place. There's no reason for you not to go in and vote. Stover says typically local government elections come with a lower voter turnout. She would like to see more people show up to vote. Our last local election, we had a 26% voter turnout. And that's out of 430,000 possible voters. So people need to think about that. So 26% is a pretty low turnout to have people make decisions about your life going forward. Our KYT political analyst says although there is low voter turnout, they are still important, especially for city council. In Albuquerque, half the city council districts are up. We stagger the terms for things like city council and community college and Albuquerque public school boards, where only half the members are up in this election cycle, and then the other half will be up in the next election cycle. This November, four city council districts will be on the ballot. District 2, 4, 6, and 8. The ballot will also include things like bond issues. Oftentimes $100 million worth of special capital outlay projects to build more buildings or handle more equipment. Senior citizen centers, community centers are oftentimes paid for by local governments by issuing bond issues. Stephanie Muniz, KYT Action 7 News. Expanded early voting starts Saturday with 20 early voting location areas in Bernalillo County alone. You can already look at your sample ballot wherever you are in New Mexico. We have a link for you at koat.com. Click on the SCN on 7 section.